My father was a photojournalist and an industrial photographer. And here are a few stories he told me about his pictures that you might enjoy. No, you want me to say anything about yeah, this? Yeah, tell oh, me about right. it. Because I, I remember you talking about this one. Yeah, this was the first picture. Oh, before I started, I, I went over that thing, and then I said, now, I'm going to put these on, and I said, some of them I'm just going to leave on the screen and for a few seconds and let you look at them and see what you think about the picture. Then I'll explain it to you. Right. And the idea behind these pictures is, they're storytelling pictures. So when you sit and look at this, uh, I'm not, this isn't what I was saying here, but I'm saying that's what they were looking at. So you get a little story idea out of it. It's Halloween right. and x-rays and so on. So what it, what it was was uh, Halloween night, the, the local hospital in South Jersey there offered uh, to x-ray the children's candy for safety reasons. Right. And this is uh, a little girl who had her, her uh, candy x-rayed, and you can see her expression on her face. She's really thrilled about looking up the x-ray, and the doctor's behind her ex uh, talk, telling her about it. And you can see she has her pumpkin in her hand, so it kind of identifies the location. Now, as far as the technical end of the picture goes, it's available light. Right. But what it is is the light from the light box is the only light in that room yeah. And it captures the mood that, that was there. This I remember one, this picture. Do you remember this yeah, one? Yeah. Yeah, this one. This Daily News used this top, you know, tabloid. They use it top and bottom of the page on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. the centerfold, mm -hmm. which was all pictures in there, and this one was all by itself. Uh, that lady's name is Ann Hess. She's a veterinarian assistant over at the Philadelphia Zoo. And a little ape, I remember his name, his name is Kiki. And he's a gorilla, actually a gorilla, but he's, you call him an ape too. But uh, she, she, we set up, we called her and set up an appointment. So when she, she would take him every night and strap him into her car seat in the car and bring him home. And then she had a crib for him in her room and she would change him his diapers and so on. But uh, the reason, what happened with Kiki was his mother abandoned him at birth uh -huh. and he was going to die. Because he just he needed he needed this mother what do you call him motherhood or whatever it is, and so she would take him and, and get him change his diaper. The only time the diaper is on when he's in the car and when he's here, right. and put him in his crib. She'd take him out, put him in the living room on the floor, and he'd play with his toys. And I sat down when she I photographed her from coming from the car, him in the car, the whole routine. I sat down on the floor when he came into the, in the living room, and he ignored me completely. I was surprised. I thought he was going to come over, and I just shot pictures of him. She went out into the kitchen, and she started mixing his food, and that's actually Gerber's baby food. The, oh, yeah, you can see the Gerber's in the background. Yeah, in the background. Yeah. And uh, he came running out and left me there, and I, I got up, and I came out into the kitchen. I sat on the floor because I wanted the perspective to be from the from the little gorilla's point of view. Right, And right. you can see him looking up. She looks tall, and, and he, can, he can even see the bottom of the bowl there. Yeah. And I just shot these pictures. It's just the available light in her kitchen and the window behind her. That's so fun. And it was very successful on the AP wire. Went all over. Everybody used it. This is a, you probably can figure it out looking at it. It's a lip reading class at night. Uh-huh. I did the same procedure I did on the other professor. Got back to the three-quarters of the way, used the long lens, and just photographed her as she was doing it. And on the board, you can see I wanted that in good evening and uh, the word, the pronunciation of the word, and then she does it with her mouth, you know. Right, right. <clears throat> and everything was going along fine, but all of a sudden, she just made my day. She picked up that cartoon she had on a desk. And I didn't know it even was there. And she held it up. And I'm looking, I, I can't believe this. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it tells the story, you know? Right, right. So That's anyway, fun. that was just That's available light, the overhead fluorescence in the room. Now, I know there are people going to say, well, you could light the eyes better and all this, but it loses the mood if you start right. popping stuff. But what 
what I'm trying to help them do, and Bob and I had talked about this, is see more right. than anything else. Right. See the lighting that's in a room. And see the, the, the story that's there, what's happening. And then photograph it from different angles, low, right. high. Right, right. 